It's 9.47 a.m. And I'm trying to muster steam to get out there and put up a wall. But it's nasty out. It's not really raining. It's just a mist. But I got to get out there and do it. But I wanted to say Dogtober. Uh, I forgot the figure. What was the figure? $1,660.26 will be donated on November 21st. That's when YouTube pays me. And I will turn around. I'll put it on a video. I will turn around and pay the rescue. So, thanks again to everybody watching. Uh, slightly above last year. I think we had a little over 1500 last year, so... A little more. The other channel did not make as much as it did last year. But this one made a little more. Which, you know, I got twice almost... I probably got another 5,000 subscribers than I had last year. So, but I had the building come last year. That got some good views. Who knows what else. But we did a good job. 1660 hey man that's money they didn't have and it goes for good cause uh so i'm gonna get out there the concrete's set up it's not totally hard but it's good enough to build on and get the wall framed out i can get a couple sheets of t111 on maybe get the door on i'll be happy i'll be happy the only thing that sucks is i can't really move the weight machine today because i haven't cleared out the carport but I'm, it's wider than the door that was on there. And I got the weight machine through that. So there should be no problem getting that out. But I've got to get some, do something with that big pile of wood under the carport. And organize under there. So I have when I move it, I place it. It stays where I put it. So let's get to work. Okay, here's what we got. Everything come out real good. A little high there. But I think I'm going to put... A closet here so that ain't gonna matter that I, I have very little closet space in my cabin and so that would make a very nice closet there's not gonna be any windows there anyway so that would be a good spot for one if that's what I decide to do don't know because I do plan to put a great big TV up but how big of a TV do you need? But I mean, it ain't so bad I can't use it anyway. I mean, it's it's fine. It's just a little bit higher than the other one. But the rest of it's good. That one's perfect. That one's real nice and level. And now we're going to start off by building this wall. I, I did find the blades, the Diablo blades for my Sawzall. So I can cut them. Actually, you don't even need to cut screws. You can just bop them with a hammer and they'll break off. So we're going to build on that. What I left on there, uh, the window will be here. So I'll frame out the window. We'll get this piece up. I want to try to get some T111 and possibly the door on today. Let's see how far we get. I'm not sore. I feel good. We should be able to do it. Let's go. Man, it's nice to have those filled. Check it out. I can now walk in here. Yeah. I know. All right, instead of building the wall and standing it up, I'm just going to build it in pieces. It's just easier for the way I got it going here. So I got my first one across. It's leveled. I've got my, my stuff underneath the board. You don't want concrete touching wood. And I doubled it up over here. Actually, I tripled it up. And that gave me level across. That's, it was only out that much. And this stuff compresses pretty good, so... Now I'm going to get my doorway framed. I got it marked out 34 inches. And that's all we got to do. And then I'll, once I get those up, uh, I don't even think I'll need another stud there. I might just put one against this wall like I had it. And that'll be about 16. Let's see. Well, it's a little over. No, well, once the stud's up, it'll be 16 on center. Perfect. So we'll get that one up pretty much where the old one was. And it's over a little more. We're widening this up by about two inches. And 
then I'll frame out my window. I got to figure out where I'm putting that. I think I marked center where I want the center of the window here, but I'll have to get it framed up and see. Once I got boards on each side, I can hold it up easier and determine where I want it. May look better with the top, even with these. So that's probably what I'll do. We'll just have to see. I don't want the thing 80 feet in the air either. All right, let me get some boards cut, get this part framed out. using all treated wood just because of the you know that it's an ex patio and it has water that is pouring down there just want it to last and I am going with even with the top of that window we'll set it up here in a minute and take a look at it ow oh, wouldn't be a day if I didn't get a splinter All right, that looks good. That looks good. Let's get a small level on it. Where's my small level? You know, there it is right at my feet. Well, how the heck is it off a little bit? There it is. Okay, I didn't think so. All right, let me screw this on, and we'll stick the window up there, and eyeball it. I haven't busted into my screws yet. I've been using all the ones I've been taking out. Yeah, that looks good. I think we'll get this all up today. Yes, sir. It's going quickly. It's going rather quickly. I thought I'd be sore today. Nope. Even my sweatshirt's baggy, man. But I ain't throwing nothing out. I am not going to buy new clothes until I'm where I need to be. I ain't got nobody to impress. Nobody. All right, we'll just check it now. Hoist. So that's about what we're doing. Oh, yeah. How did it go higher than the other one? But that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I don't get that. Well, that's good because I can put a piece of furniture here. I don't have the window in my way. It won't be blocking the window. And that'll work just fine. All right, now. Got to do them. Yeah, let's find center here. And then I'll know where I gotta go. Let me see. That's perfect, man. I can walk up, I can look out in the window. Yes, sir. I like it. Alright, I'll mark center and I'll cut my pieces. I need to fit. I don't know where this tape measure come from, but I like it. I can read it. So we need to make a hole 23 and a half. I'll go a little bit more. Now, 23, yeah. 23 and 5 eighths. All right. Off center. All right, let me get going on that. Concrete's doing, setting up real good. All right, 
what do we got here? I'm going to show you how to do something here, guys. Just pay attention. Listen. All right, we have 30 and 5 eighths. And I know what that is in my head, but if I don't, I go, Alexa, what is half of 30 and 5 eighths? Half of 30.625 is 15.3125. Okay. 15 and a quarter. I guess that's what 2.5 means. A little off. Right there, center. See? She's a good helper. You guys didn't think so. All right, let me get this framed out. Thank you, Alexa. Okay, dokie. Getting her framed out. Using that tool again. Uh, that I didn't need to happen. Don't you fall. <clears throat> okay, let's get one of them up there. Just short of me being able to put another 2x4 up here. Right, right there's where I want that one. Right there. Can I get it? Come on in. Right there is where it needs to go. Yep, 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 yep. Let's get one screw in, then we can twist on it if we need to. All right. And I got marks on here, so that's how I know where I'm going. Well, what the hell happened? I didn't put my toenail screw in at a good enough angle. Not even close. Now it is. Let's try that again. Mistakes do happen in the neighborhood, boys and girls. <clears throat> Man, when I punch you, I want you to stay where I put you. Right there. Right there is where she needs to be. Get her in there. Down. Tricky, tricky. Uh, right there. There you go. Just let it hold it. And... Too high, man. You got that one too high. Something. Yeah. That one's too high. Well, I knew if I started filming, it would go all wonky. Yeah, that needs to come down just a shade. Mismeasure one? What's going on? I should have square. Oh, hell, that don't even look. Uh, 
I wrote the mark wrong. I was wondering, man. <laughs> I'll be back. I wrote the right measurement there, or one of them. One of them's wrong. Alright, my measurements were right. I'm going to show you what was wrong. Look at this board, guys. Look at that thing. See that big old knot there? See this hump? That's why I can't get square. So I'm going to get rid of that and get another one. Man, you just can't get good lumber today. Alright, everything should be squared up. Let's dry fit this dude. Oh. It's on that side. Boy. Uh, it needs to go up here. Okay, let me fix that right now. That's a nice, nice thing about screws. Uh, where's my square? It's off a of shade. See, the square don't lie. in the same hole. <clears throat> yep. Yep, yep. I'll take that screw completely out. Start a new one. Well, let's get it started and then we can A lot of times if you've toenailed them, it'll fall right back in the same hole if you try it, try to move it any. Alright. Let's just hold that there. So you gotta move it. Well, it's too far in, man. That ain't. Good. Take it in. Take it in. All right. Now let's try this winder. Oh. There she is. Nice tight fit. Yeah, man. perfectly level. All right, let's get a look at that. I like it. So that's where it's going to live. Yeah. All right, let me keep it going. Not a whole lot left, just that little section. And I need to, I'm going to add another one there. I'm going to double that one up. I want a nice, strong uh, opening for my door. Oh, the door ain't going there. Okay, that's just going to be an entryway, so we're good. I'll still double it up, though. Just in case you're moving furniture, you hit the wall, you know. But this isn't where the door is going. We still got to build that. But, yeah, that looks pretty good. I need a stud here in the middle. Hold that in place. And something to insulate. All right, let's go. All right, we got this part of the wall done. I'm going to go ahead and hang a sheet of uh, T111, a couple sheets. I'm only going up to here with it. I'm going to cut these off at 82 inches because I got to. I'm going to work on this. I'm going to put something on the inside there. That way we can get this covered for now. I'm not worried if that gets wet. 
but I want to keep it out of here. Uh, we'll get the window cut out, put in, cut that piece off there, and there'll be plenty of pieces to fill that in up there. I got to get some flashing, and we'll just put a piece of trim across the seam there. That's the best way I figure to do it. So that all went together good, good and strong. Now let's get that on there. I said disco, disco duck, disco, disco duck. done hang it up got some mint on there all right do 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 bottom yep bottom yep bottom i think everything's okay Oh, shabonga. Here we go. Gotta come past you guys. I like it. I like it a lot. Chipping concrete. It was a blue one. It's a little high. How'd I do that? Oh, it's high over here. That's all right. We can zip her off. It's raining. It looks pretty good there. There ain't much of this that's gonna, that ain't gonna be high because it ain't gonna be there. Yeah, it will. It's all right, I'll zip it off with a sawzall or with the uh, jigsaw. But for now, let's get her stuck down. Well, you didn't have your screws ready. I bet I couldn't have got through there a few months ago. Not a problem now. All right, let me fill up my pocket. I had to change shirts. Well, I didn't have a pocket. You got to have a pocket to hold your screws. And I do know that one's square. i make sure my zipper ain't down. This pants like the, the zipper likes to, I need to sweep this out. I'm just going through there because I can. Doo -doo. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Ooh. Okay. Put that right where I need it. Ain't worried about that. They get trim. That's my answer to everything, ain't it? It's trim. Just get the screw in there to hold her down.
It's got a little bit of a pitch to it. But... There we go. Ah, she's fine. She's fine. Let's see how far down that dude's about there. Ain't no sense of putting the screws there. I may put one to hold it while I'm drilling it, cutting it. Well, how do I miss that? Should be a stud there, right? Oh, it needs to go in. Need a hammer. There it went. Now we're good. Didn't have any. Uh, that bit. Oh, all I gotta do is go off the sidewalk, and I know. That's the whip. All them screws will get painted over. You won't see them. The difference is this pole. That's why there's a gap here, not down there. But I'm keeping the T111 straight. There's going to be trim there. Can't get away from it. A few cross the top. This gets cut out. <laughs> Try to put screws in these channels when I can. cut this out until I know I can get to the door today otherwise we'll have a we'll have it closed off and won't get rained in and I still gotta frame that out and that's gonna be a little different than this one All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick one in the bottom just to hold it in place but it's gonna get cut out anyway But it won't be flapping around when I'm cutting it. And I did put in some masonry screws into the uh, two by four on the, the hits the concrete. So it ain't going nowhere. All right. Of course, this gets cut out for the doorway. Well, I almost got it closed in where you could come check it out. But you got to let me get the... You are losing weight. I can tell. Especially when you're laying down, eating all that good food that I'm, that homemade food I'm cooking. But, she don't like the green beans. Alright. And then we need to get in here and finish the walls. Lily, one day. Yeah, you're just a scared soul. Why are you shivering? It ain't cold. She eats shivering. That's what she does when she's liking you to pet her. When you're petting her, she likes it. All right, I got to get back to work, but I think I'm about done for the day, Lily. Yeah. I wish I had a puppy dog scale, but I, I know you'll lose weight because you're eating the carnivore diet. And you're a carnivore. You silly. Requires a lot to have a, a dog apartment. You got to have an air conditioner. You got to have a fan. You got to have a heater. You got to have a radio. That's on. I just turned it down so I don't get copyrighted. Got to have a TV. We'll go ahead and turn that on for her. 
Oh, I don't have it plugged in. And you got to have a picture of the brother. Yeah, I, I need to redo that. Only lighter. That's way too dark. But he's in here with you, huh? All right, we got the winder in. Winder, winder, winder. Nope, there was a few hitches. Always is. But she's in. Forgot to put the tape on the bottom and then I, I had it all cocked up. I had to wipe the cock off. Happens when I get in a hurry. Sorry for the tractor noise. That's bringing hay next door. Shouldn't even be using hay this time of year, but it's been so dry. Cattle don't handle grass. That happened two years ago when I was building this addition. Putting it out in August. Something like that. I'm gonna like this window here. Got a cock on me. Kinda glad I did not buy two windows now because I don't like it would it would it wouldn't in that area there wouldn't look good and you there wasn't much you could see anyway. Dropping screws everywhere. You get my magnet. Wow. I'm going to wipe this on you guys. Well, what do I wipe it on? I don't have a wipeable thing. Wipe it underneath your... There you go. Ah. Where's my girls? There they are. Tell you what. Millie has surprised me. She's been really good. She don't run off. She don't go anywhere anymore. She turned out to be a real good girl. But I don't think I'll ever get her over that skittishness. Somebody, I think, had to have hit her with a stick or something. Because you pick up a broom or anything, and she sees it, she runs. So she relates that to that, which is, I could never hit a dog with a stick. Even when Libby was attacking me, it was hard for me to hit her. And I had to, to get her off of me. I mean, she was, she wasn't giving up. That's a day I'll never forget. But I always suspected that would happen with her. And it wasn't the first time she did it, but it was the most severe. And unfortunately, it was the last time she did it. Because you just can't put up with her for nine years. Not an easy dog. But when she did that, that she signed it. She signed her certificate with that. But it still doesn't make it easy. But that's what happened. Now, let me tell you something. She was not the biggest dog in the world. She's about the size of Millie. But when a, a dog is attacking you, let me tell you, it's a match. It is a match. They're going to get their bites in on you. You might win in the long run. Or you may not. 
And she was going. They get you around the throat, man. You're a goner. That's all it takes. All right, I'm gonna get this dude taped up. This stuff dries clear, so it doesn't make any difference if it gets on there, but I'm gonna gob it up in there. Just to give it a little extra. It's gonna be covered in tape anyhow. All right, we're moving along. Don't know if I'll get to that today. I'm starting to wear out. Yeah, got cock on my camera. All right, that window's done. Let's see how she opens. Oh yeah, starting to feel like a room. Starting to feel like a room. Beautiful. Actually, that window wasn't that much cheaper than these. These were, what did I say, 160 bucks, 150, 160. I think I said 150 in the one, but they're 160. That was 115. But I, you know, I didn't want a big window in here. And this is just perfect. This is perfect. I can put, if I got tables or whatever, I don't have the window in the way. Because uh, really, if I'm going to put a TV in here, it's going to have to go on this wall. I'm going to get a big one, like an 86 inch. And it's not going to have that fan. I'm getting rid of that fan. I'm going to get a low profile in case y'all have not seen what I'm putting in here. And they do have different styles, so I'll probably go with a different one. But I'm going to go with this one here. Just like this one. Let's turn the light on. So that's what's going to go in there. Very low profile. That's what it needs in there. And I could even put it farther back, I'm sure. And in fact, I may do that. I don't know. It was kind of a weird spot, but that's where this one had to go or it wouldn't clear. Oh, I forgot I got the cover off that. But it barely clears it. But, you know, these TVs today are pretty, pretty darn thin. And I do got that electrical conduit. But what I'm going to do when I get the TV is I'm going to build a frame for it. So it's going to have its own frame and it'll just sit on the wall. I'm not even probably going to need one of those brackets. I don't know. We'll have to see which one I get and I've been looking at the LGs they're pretty nice and they're they're affordable they're around a thousand bucks I don't know how good I'll go look that's in Walmart I'll look and see what the picture quality is like but big TV here and a love seat here and maybe a recliner because this is where I'm going to be sleeping from now on once it's done I won't yeah I, and I have the option still to go in there and sleep if I want but I can sleep in here. I want to get a reclining love seat, maybe a couple of matching end tables to go with it. And that's about all I need. And then, you know, there'll be plenty of room out here for the dogs. Because I figure a love seat's going to probably come out to here. And there'll still be plenty of room for the dogs to lay on the floor out here. And then, you know, but I'm going to... I haven't decided on the ceiling 100% yet. I don't know. But... I'm going to take my time with it, and it's going to be every bit as nice as the one in the shop, if not better. And, I mean, it really ain't bad looking having that T111. It ain't going to stay that color. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want this place to seem like I'm, it's part of the outside. So, we'll paint it. We'll get the proper door trims on. Never have done this. That's one of the reasons why. Well, I didn't really know what I was going to do in here originally screen patio but i think when i the idea was that it could be converted at a later date into a room and well now that's what we're doing and now that these are filled in we've got all this is uh 16 by 10 10 by 16 almost as big as a shed and it is an utter mess that is tomorrow's duty getting everything out of here cleaning it up and we're going to finish the exterior out there get this all dried in and then gonna begin on the inside so there's gonna be a lot of videos on this project a lot of them because I'm taking my time 
This is going to be probably the nicest room in the entire cabin. Well, I know it will be because I'm going to make it that way. And I uh, better get Rooster in. It's starting to rain. She won't melt. But it's going to be nice. So hang on there. Let me go let her in. I got to paint this door. That's Rooster. That's me. Is it raining? Well, it ain't raining. There you are. They don't like you. It is kind of wrist misting. Are you wet? You're damp. That's just how you get your bath. And that rainwater makes you soft. Alright, did you want to come in? Alright, I'll go check on your sister, Lily. Thank you, Lily, for letting me store my treadmill in here. It doesn't take up much room. Would you take care of it for me? You, maybe we could turn it on and you could treadmill. Are you listening to me? <laughs> all right. It won't hurt you. You'll be all right. What you doing, Waddles? And I see your girls are all out. Pecking. Well, there is some green left in there. Not very much. The old speckle hen there is getting ready to get it. Man, we did get a little green from the rain we've had. Little spots of it here and there. Yeah. Alright guys, that's going to do it. I'm done for the day. I got it done enough that we get a bunch of rain. It's not going to flood me in there. I can at least lay a tarp or something over that little opening. But thanks for watching, man. The views have been great on this. I appreciate everybody. Uh... For Dogtober and all that. Look at the look at the day. It's just a misty, foggy, rainy day. Not really raining. It's just a mist in the air. But the temperature's perfect, about 60 degrees. Yeah. Happy trails.